Africa's biggest animals continue to be killed in near record numbers as demand for horn in Asia drives the slaughter of rhinos and elephants to staggering levels. In the year 2013 so far, 82 rhinos have already been poached. According to Environment Ministry figures, poachers had killed 633 rhinos in South Africa by mid-December last year. On the black market, a rhino horn is set to be priced at 65,000 US dollars per kilogram, with fluctuations of up to 120,000 US dollars per kg, meaning that a single rhino horn of more than a kg could fetch between 330,000 and 625,000 US dollars at the retail level. Oxford University professor Colin Please facilitated sessions at the University of the Witwatersrand School of Computational and Applied Mathematics to investigate the numbers behind poaching. He says the models they are designing take into account the value of a poacher's life, the cost of keeping the rhino safe and the worth of the rhinos to tourism. Rhino poaching has enormous number of complexities, interacting uh, groups, interacting uh, policies and so forth. Mathematics gives a way for policymakers, politicians, conservationists to have a rational discussion as to what the consequences of some action that they take might be. One of the main objectives of the study group was to model the potential effect of legalizing rhino horn trade, both on the market and on various rhino populations. I think, I think the models that we provide will allow the policy makers of, of the country to go and determine whether an open and free market is a suitable thing to go and do to change the problems associated with rhino poaching. Rhino horn trade is currently banned by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, CITES. Some economists and rhino custodians have called for legalization as a solution to rhino poaching. However, legalization of rhino horn trade might drive down the price and open up further demand. The experts say without a proper model, predicting the behavior of the market is difficult. Independent conservation economist Michael Sars Rawls believes that mathematics is a tool that can be used to find ways of ensuring that rhinos do not become extinct. The maths is absolutely essential, the models are absolutely essential in understanding this and doing the number crunching because there are a lot of people who argue one case or another case, but unless you actually sit down with the numbers and run them through the model, you don't, you're, you're clutching at straws. And it turns out that if you change the variables, you will get different results. So it's important that we get those models right and then start to run them with numbers that we have, things that we know about how much it costs to protect rhinos effectively and so on, to, to determine what would happen under different demand scenarios. The demand for rhino has also been growing in Vietnam, where a newly affluent class has been buying horns to treat ailments ranging from hangovers to cancer. Most of the rhino killings take place in South Africa's Kruger National Park, which is almost the size of Israel and is increasingly difficult for rangers to adequately patrol. The mathematical models were presented to stakeholders involved in rhino conservation. If the discussions around legalizing the horn trade to reduce poaching continue, the mathematicians suggest that a debate happens with a scientific model in place.